Greetings! This video tutorial is dedicated to the trading module Orders window. To get started, you need to select the ticker that you plan to deal with as well as the account out of the list. By default, two test accounts are available to all users of the platform. Also, the given list contains real accounts that you add to the platform. The list of trade gateways is available on our website in the support section Trade Gateways. Next, select the number of contracts. They can be changed manually. In the platform you can send an order in several ways. Let's start with the simplest one and then consider placing complex orders. First, right click in any place causes a pop-up window. Sell limit buy stop can be placed at the price you clicked on. There is, when I move along the chart, you see how the parameters of these orders change. You can also immediately buy at the best bid. We see that by clicking buy best bid we placed an order for the best bid and as soon as the market allows it, this order will be executed. Likewise, you can sell best ask. We see the order immediately placed. Buy best ask sell best bid. And here we can make a trade out. Trade out closes all open positions for the instrument and cancels all orders placed. This applies to trading directly on the chart. Let's consider simple orders. By switching between auto sell or auto buy, you can place simple pending orders directly on the chart. Let's choose auto buy. Clicking on the price scale once with the left mouse button, we activate the line. Let's choose the price we are interested in. Set the necessary order. Now it's sent and placed on the market. Below the buy market limits are placed. Above the market there are stop orders. All is way around on the sell market. Above the market there is a sell limit. Below the market there is a sell stop. We see that the buy order is executed. What can we do next? Sell market. Buy market. By clicking on one of these orders, we automatically send it to market. Sell limit is cancelled. We are out of the market. The function sell trigger by trigger will be analyzed further along with complex orders. Complex orders can be formed in several ways. If you already have a position opened, now we have opened a trade on the market, but neither a stop loss nor a take profit are bound to it, what shall we do then? At the top of the control panel window, there's an add brackets button. This function allows you to add a complex order that is stops, trailing, stake profits to an already opened position. Suppose we want to make a stop loss of 10 pips. First stake profit is 22 and the second one is 35. Moreover, you can divide the profits by percentage. With 10 contracts open, we can put 60% in the first take profit and 40% in the second one. What does this mean? When first take profit is reached, market will close 60% of the current position. In our case, these are 6 contracts from 10. Click Apply and we see how a number of orders are attached to the current position. One stop and two take profits. Cancel all, trade out and trade all out. What does this mean? Cancel all means to cancel all orders. If I press it, the orders are cancelled, but the current position will remain. Let's add a complex order to it again. Click Apply. Trade out. After clicking it, uh, the current position is closed, while all orders attached to it are cancelled. In fact, all orders placed for this instrument will be cancelled. Trade all out means closing all positions of the current account, all instruments for which positions of this account were opened, as well as cancelling all complex orders that were set. Let's change the tool, for example gold, GC. How can we immediately form a complex order even before opening position? We see that in the upper right corner there is a brackets of orders button. Let's activate it. We see that the gray color changed to white next to each type of order. Let's set the auto buy. How to make a complex order. 
Its parameters, unit profit, stop loss, trailing, etc., can be set in pips, in percent of price, or in cash. In other words, if you want to take profit to be not in pips after the market has made several movements, but specifically in monetary terms, for example, $500 of the account currency, let's set $1000 in the second take profit using cash. If you want to express it in percentage, uh, then respectively this means a percentage of the movement of the current price. If, for example, you opened at 100 and put 1% in the take profit field, then the price should reach $101, the second take profit 2% and so on. Basically, we recommend using complex orders in pips. It's easier to understand and manage the position. Let's go on. Set the first take profit 22 the second 44 and the third one 55 let's set the percentage 60 20 and 20 what does this mean when the position will be plus 22 pips 60 percent of this position respectively six contracts will be closed then upon reaching 44 pips two more contracts will be closed and if the market allows us to achieve all of our goals the last two contracts will also be closed let's make a stop loss 11 trailing stop movement of stop orders 0 or the number of pips that the market should pass net positive in order for the trailing stop to move maybe 11 pips TS trailing stop target is where the trailing should stop and not follow the market let's set 0 this means that when the market goes 11 pips plus it will move to break even and will not move anymore Cancel all when means when one of the conditions is reached, then all other orders will be cancelled. Stop loss reach, take profit reach or both. Let's set up later. All this can be saved in a profile. Let's call it GC Gold. Done. We have a saved profile for this tool and a customized complex order. Click apply. We see that all configured conditions appeared next to auto buy. When we click the left mouse button, we see that the lines of complex orders are displayed on the chart. Let's place an order. We see that all its parameters are already set. We can make the same settings for any time of orders. Click apply. We see that the same parameters for complex order as for auto buy have been applied to the sell market. Let's take a closer look. Everything is done. We see three take profits are stop loss. Make a trade out. Everything closes. Next, you can see working orders. When there is a placed order is displayed in this field. If there are more, they will be displayed accordingly. We also see trades, already completed trades and open positions. A market order for 10 contracts was sent and then everywhere we see working orders. Click trade out, everything closes. Before analyzing trigger orders, I would like to draw your attention to the information line under the selection of ticker and account. This line shows you the number of the selected account, the account on which you are trading, its status, test demo account, available money for opening new positions. This is not the amount of the account, but the available funds. Then we see the blocked funds, there is 7500 is involved in open positions, while 96829 is available. Fee means commission of the account for all trades made today. We also see that now we have 5 lots of the current instrument to sell, the pips indicator changed in dynamics, now it's 2, as well as open PNL, that is open profit or loss for the current position. We also see closed PNL here, profit or loss for closed positions. Now let's consider trigger orders. What is trigger orders? These are classic stop limit orders. This means that you can set the price after which the order will be sent to the market. How it works? Let's set two take profits. Let's divide them equally. Stop loss. 
action, it can be a classic stop limit order or an order to leave position trade out or to cancel all other orders. Let's start with a stop limit. We put the trigger price and the price of the order itself. When the market touches the trigger price, then sell limit at the specified price will be set. Let's cancel it and do the opposite. When the price reaches the top trigger, then the buy limit will be set at the specified second price. How does trade out or cancel all work? As soon as the price indicated in the trigger work out, the trade out immediately triggered and the platform closed our position on the market. You can also change the type of the order to cancel all. We see that the triggers became trade out and cancel all. Data on working orders, trades and open positions can be turned off at the bottom and also activated in the same way. Follow on. Let's look at the possibilities of the order window. Chart type. In the control panel you can change the type of chart. There are bar type, the number of days displayed, the display of max volume, open close, high low. Standard open close bar. The left dash shows the opening and the right one closing. If you change it to max volume, then the price with the maximum volume in this bar will be displayed, with high low, which are regular bars. Next, there is a tick chart shown for a certain number of hours. Then the box chart is a standard chart including the number of days, box of delta, delta in percentage, etc., time frame, box period, lower histogram, as well as cluster type, which includes popular parameters. Let's go on. Connect, disconnect the DOM. The arbitration chart. Here you can choose not one but two instruments and make arbitrage trades between them. You see two graphs. These are S&P and Nasdaq. Here all the same market orders work, for example, the buy market. You can see that 10 contracts for S&P were purchased and sold for Nasdaq. The same with the trade out, let's go out and turn off the arbitration mode. Lines. If you have any other charts open for the instrument of your choice, you can automatically copy lines from this chart to the orders window. I activate it and have the lines that were left earlier in the cluster profile. Disable it. Let's explore the setup. Trade out by time. This function allows you to exit the market, close all trades, cancel all orders by time. Tool time to be taken into account and date. There is you choose a date either current or subsequent and set the time at which the platform closed all your positions and cancel orders. Reload is update of data. Hide control panel. Account connections. All trading gateways are available here which you can use to connect to your real accounts, both American, European or any other brokers. Price scale allows changing price scale. Chart type. This function is duplicated. Setting limits. Limits on the volume, on the price histogram which is on the left or a temporary histogram from the bottom. Greed means marking on the timeline. Arbitrage Desk. There is another video on this function. You can learn out separately. Here we will not command on it. Contract specification. Contract features for each selected instrument. You can learn about such parameters as minimum price step, margin, etc. Master Slave. Management of master and slave accounts. In other words, you can link other account to one account so they will follow your master account. There is also a separate video about this. For example, here below after opening arbitrage trades positions on slave accounts we are opened. DOM filter. Here you can install filters on the DOM, certain volume. Hotkey settings. Options. Here you can customize the font size. 
Hide or display the account size. Disable notifications. Confirm orders sent cancel. Here you can configure sending orders without additional questions from the platform. The same goes for the undo function. Other settings here are also intuitive. Color settings. Symbol lookup. Stop local alerts. There is, if you cannot understand the principle of triggering a particular alert, this function is specifically created to stop it. Desktop control. Clone window. If you click on this button, another older window will automatically appear with the same parameters. Stay on top. To be on the top of all windows. Account list. A list of your accounts. By default you have two test accounts and your real accounts. Risk management. There is also a separate video on it. LMI Trade Report. Here you can contact our pantries from LMI Trade. Now in the top panel there is a statement button. This is a report on completed transactions, orders, trades, closed and open positions, cash flow, arbitrage positions, equity, etc. Here you can see the performance report, that is, the standard statement with advanced features. Thanks for watching.